What's up guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycle Manager 2020 for stage number 21 of our Giro d'Italia playthrough and if you haven't seen yesterday's episode genuinely watch it drink it in because I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again I'm, I am quoting Martin Tyler, I'm aware but genuinely, it was one of the most mental stages I have ever been a part of on PCM. And as you can see, James Knox is leading the Giro d'Italia by 14 little seconds over Steven Kroevijk in 1 minute 38 over Rafa Maika. Nibali has disappeared off the face. I mean, he's top 10, I think. Miguel Rolopez was completely fucked off. Like, genuinely, he's decided to go home. I think he's top 15 now, something like that. But we're in a position which I hadn't expected to be in. We're defending the pink jersey in the streets of Milano for 16 kilometer time trial against Steven Kroevijk, the leader of Jumbo Visma. I'm very much unsure of what's going to happen. But I've lost the Tour de France on the final day on a time trial where I was convinced I was bringing the yellow home. Well, you better believe I'm not making the same mistake today. James Knox, we're bringing the pink jersey home. And there's no other way around it. And the time trial has not even begun that we already have someone on the road. Alvaro Hoj, starting uh, from where, where the fuck are we already? Cernusco sul Naviglio, and we're going for the 16 kilometers in Milano. I don't know how to handle this time trial. Uh, and I don't really have anyone decent in time trial apart from Joe Almeida. I'm not going to spoil myself in what James Snow's fitness. Um, the last time we did the time trial, I believe he had like a plus 7 or a plus 8 or something along those lines. I, I mean, if we can have that again today, that'd be great. Um... But I'm not. I'm not gonna dream on. I'm aware that it's very rare to have that kind of fitness, especially that late into a tour. Miles Cotton is first at the intermediate, which makes sense. Just out of Gisa Give and Alvaro Hood, uh, I won't be able to fight for position because Scotton is 30 minutes behind Sagiv. He's 30 minutes behind me, and I'm, I'm 15 minutes behind Giovanni Lonardi. Um, Hood though second. Okay, I'm trying to uh, get a sense of what I can do with James Snow right now. Um, Effort-wise. My heart rate is honestly pounding. Well, no. My heart is pounding. That's much better, yeah. Um, James Knox is starting in 41 riders now. And... Again, I didn't expect to be in this position when I started this playthrough. The aim was to get points and mountain jersey. And like a top 5 finish if possible. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine I'd be fighting for the pink jersey. It just, it looks surreal. And I hope James has what it takes to get the win. Because um, the gaps are already quite important in Milano. Uh, Alex Dowsett is leading though. Two seconds ahead of Michael Matthews and nine on the Victor Camponart. It is a time trial solely for those who have the power in their legs. Kroivak is one of these guys. I'm afraid James Knox might not be that. Uh, actually, let's take a look. Uh, there, there was... Wait. There was a time trial at the start. Where did Kroivak finish? Kroivak lost 40 seconds on Ghana. I lost... I lost 1 minute 10. So I lost 30 seconds on the first time trial. And on the second one, which uh, granted was much longer, uh, I lost 5 seconds. Okay, so there was one where I would have enough to win, and one where I definitely wouldn't. Fox Thomas Nala is on the way. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to go 73 with him. Uh, I'll try to go 74 with Almeida. Try to benchmark, see how he does. I mean, I don't care if Almeida loses a few positions. 21st, 23rd, what was the point? As long as I can maintain first with James Knox. Good day for, for uh, Almeida as well. 75 time trial for him today. Okay, come on, Joe. Be the teammate James wants you to be. 
uh, cross the line for Masnada, uh, not the time troll, Trump, time troll specialist, sorry. Uh, 132 behind Jonathan Castroviro, the new leader in Milano. Joe Almeida, though, is doing fine. 74 seems to be working for the Portuguese. He's 8, 15 seconds behind Rowan Dennis in Viarizzoli. Uh, so that's like 5, 6 seconds behind the normal people as uh, Simon Clark finishes just up the road. Wait, where's, where the fuck is Ron Dennis? Is he in the top 20 of the GC? That's mental. Fifth place, 22 seconds down for Joel Almeida on Jonathan Castroviero. Uh, Ron Dennis is indeed 17th place. Wow. Mental. The top 10 has started going. The top 10 has started leaving. Vincenzo Nibali is there. Wilke Kelderman, Tanel Kangat, Peyo Bilbao, Simon Yates, Jakob Fulsong, Garen Thomas starts in fourth place. Him as well probably wouldn't, didn't expect to be here after the Etna stage where he was more than 10 minutes behind. He was 10 minutes behind the leader. He's now 3 minutes behind the leader. If, hadn't been, if he hadn't had these issues, he'd be 7 minutes in the lead. Rafa Maika is on the way. So is Kovac. Come on, come on. Come on, Rames. Come on, James Snog, 77 time trial today. Everything is in his way. Come on. Come on. Come on, James. I'm going to leave this. It's going to be an uncut version. I'm not going to cut. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. Uh, I mean, it's a plus five. I couldn't have dreamt of a fucking better day. I could not have dreamt of a better day. Garen Thomas is in the lead in Viarizzoli, three seconds ahead of Ron Dennis. Uh, where's Vincenzo? Oh, yeah, no, Vincenzo's fucked up. Vincenzo's fucked up. 40 seconds for him as well. He definitely had, I don't know, he probably ate some bad shrimp or something like that. Vincenzo has completely choked. Kovac, 18 seconds behind the behind Garens. Come on, James. Come on. 17. Se oh, come on. He's one second ahead. He's one second ahead. He is one second ahead of Kovac. You need to hold on during that second half, mate. Please. Tanel Kankaf with a very nice time trial in fourth place. Basically the same second as Alex Dowsett. Um, can he fight for position? No, no one really can actually. Yates Fulsong can fight for position. They are within two seconds of each other, uh, both in the GC and at the intermediate. Yates, 45 seconds behind Rondonis. Fulsong, can he maintain his top five? He needs to finish 45. No, he's gonna lose for two seconds. Garen Thomas takes the lead in Milano. It's gonna be a one, two, three for Ines Grenadiers. Definitely the team to watch out for when a time trial happens. I'm pretty sure they want to three as well in Valdobbiadene. Yes, and in Palermo, they're going to one, two, three. The three time trials of this Giro. Final corner for James Knox. 1.5k to go. Come on, Lopez. No, sorry, Kroivai crossed the line just behind Rafa Maika. Rafa Maika definitely not having a good day. Knox across the line. It's a top five finish. James Knox wins the fucking Giro. James Knox wins the fucking Giro d'Italia. What on earth happened here? It's a 1 2 3 for the Grenadiers. Thomas head of Dennis Castorviero. Peyo Bilbao and James Knox in fifth position. Dowsett can get Matthews de Rent and Almeida to complete the top 10. James Knox wins the 2020 Giro d'Italia COVID edition. 37 seconds ahead of Krovek, 2.30 on Garin Thomas. Rafa Maika loses his podium despite having a minute and a half gap on Thomas starting this effort. Yates gains the top 5 finish for 2 seconds on Fulsang. Domenico Pozzovivo, despite his age, wins the best climber classification. What a dominant performance as well from uh, the little man, the former Colnago and Aje de Zerm, La Mondiale rider. Pretty sure he also rode for Bahrain, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, uh, or I wouldn't back my sources. Davide Ballerini also wins the point classification for two little points ahead of Garen Thomas. Garen Thomas uh, did everything he could to bring home that jersey. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot it was a thing, but yeah, he could have uh, he could have won it. Um, had he, I don't know, like done better one day, the day where he finished behind the had he won it, he would have been in the Ciclamino. James Knox also brings home the white jersey, but that was the jersey I was basically convinced I'd bring after the first stage. And the best team, despite losing Miguel Angel Lopez, is still going to be Astana and Milano. What the fuck was that, Giro? Uh, I think the plus five helped today. Uh, I think no matter what, I would have been able to at least challenge Kovac. Although it's not a bad central from Steven uh, as he finishes. 
just in just behind uh, Jos van Emden and Tony Martin, not far off from a Steve, from a, a Victor Campenart ahead of some riders like Eduardo Affini uh, or Michael Haben, proven time trialist, especially on a parkour such as this one. Uh, but James had more than enough, uh, and he had the strength of everyone, the strength of the wolf pack. I am honestly in shock. It, all, it's, it's, it's this stage. This stage between Alba and Cesriar, Nibali losing 80 minutes, Lopez losing half an hour. How much did, did, did um, Nibali and Lopez lost today? Vincent Nibali, where is he? Mm. Yeah, something completely happened to them. I don't know what. Nibali lost 1 minute 56. Imagine losing 156 with them stats. Something must have happened. I don't know what. Uh, I don't think I've been to Lopez yet. There he is. 233 of Miguel Lopez. Does that mean... Okay, anybody maintains the top 10 nonetheless. Uh, Lopez maintains P14. Woohoo. I bet he, he'll be thrilled with it. Uh, but the top 10 of this Giro, therefore, is James Knox ahead of Koivai, Gary Thomas, Rafa Maika, Simon Yates, Jakob Wulsang, Peo Bilbao, Tanel Kangat, Wilke Kelderman, and Vincenzo Nibali. Um, yeah. It's mad. 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 James Knox. James Knox, 77 Mountain. James Knox has won the 2020 Giro in Italia. What? <laughs> at the time I'm recording this, I've, I've recorded stage... Uh, I mean, at the, the, the final week, I've recorded it since 1 a.m. It's now 4.50. Uh, I mean, I think in real life, Almeida is leading the Giro. Uh, Joe's playthrough has Almeida in second place, like five seconds behind Nibali. Something is, is happening with Duke and in that Giro. I don't know what. Uh, but what a performance. Because let's not forget that, yes, Lim Snokes win this, but we also end this Giro with a few stages... Uh, I believe like two or three, one with Ballerini, make that two, no, one with Hood, one with Ballerini, so that's two and one, that's three wins, three distinctive jerseys, including the GC, I could not have dreamt of a better Giro, I could not have dreamt of a better Giro, and I do hope that you guys have enjoyed it, um, uh, I'm still baffled. Uh, I haven't seen anyone's comment obviously because none of these videos have been have been edited, uh, so I don't know what hap what you said about this the previous stage. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed this Giro uh, and this final stage with my first GC win of the year with James Snokes on the Giro d'Italia. I I'm kind of getting my, my my mind around it, but yeah, we've 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 done something fucking amazing. We fucking did something amazing. Um, and if that doesn't deserve a like on that video, I don't know what does. Uh, but if you're new on here, then please, please do subscribe to the channel. If uh, you haven't done so, you can follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. Uh, there is this year. There's also the Vuelta at the same time. I'm pretty sure my playthrough is also going on. Uh, I haven't started recording it. I don't even know what team I'm going to use. I don't even think the, the full start list has been released. Uh, but yeah, like you're going to have a lot of fucking content. The year is finished, but we'll have Williams, uh, we, we've got the Vuelta, yeah, you're sorted for, for quite a while here. In the meantime, I do hope you've enjoyed this video and this playthrough, it has been a very, very good experience um, doing this for 21 days, it was a bit different uh, from usual, obviously, with having a, a different start list, not having the, the big names, uh, allowing me to, to go for the Konank and, and to get that position. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It, it feels different having a, an outsider rather than a, than a favorite. Turns out I'm better with them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you both today and for the course of three weeks. I shall see you on Spanish roads in probably tomorrow. At, uh, yeah, 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 tomorrow, unless there's a rest day. Uh, but have an incredible day. Enjoy the end of the Giro. Enjoy the start of the Vuelta. My name has been Blanco. Arrivederci. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. 
But I'm out of my knee feeding. I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go for mealing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Stopping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster. 